What's poppin' Guardians and Future Guardians? This is King Dub the Seventh, and I have a an important video for all of you, especially the future Guardians and Guardians to be. Now, I already did a video titled uh, "Do You Want to Be a Warlock, Hunter, or Titan?" and that video was talking to you guys about whether or not, uh, like, what class fits a certain playstyle that you want to do. Now, I bring you guys another video. These are going to be my five most important tips to new Destiny players. So, these tips could honestly be taken by new Destiny players or maybe old Destiny players that have bad habits when playing Destiny. But, I, my goal for this video is to give you guys a heads up on how things work in Destiny. Tips and trades of what to look for in the future of destiny things like that like i basically want to set you guys up with a strong foundation so you guys can get some of the best gear that you can you guys don't waste resources things like that so without further ado let's get into the video so the first tip that i have for you guys is to not spend glimmer on things that will not put glimmer and other resources back into your inventory my reason for saying this is because destiny has a bunch of new traps early in the game they show you a bunch of weapons for, that the vendors have that are going to be stronger than the weapons that you have currently. You're going to want to say, oh, I can just buy these weapons right now with the glimmer that I have so I can just get stronger items. That's not what you want to do at all. The thing about Destiny 2 and Destiny period is loot is always the name of the game. You'll always get loot no matter what and the loot that you get will almost always be stronger than what you have. So there's no point in buying something with glimmer that is stronger than what you have because you'll find it out in our world whether it's from uh, chest or uh, chest or events or uh, adventures or anything like that there's no real reason to spend glimmer in the game or there's no reason to spend glimmer on weapons and armor because you'll be able to find stronger weapons and armor than and out in the world than what you'll find in the tower or in the in the uh, farm anyway which you should spend glimmer on though is things that make it easier to find uh, the chest or things that make looting easier or the uh, the treasure maps on crate uh, from Cade anything that helps you get chest or get more resources that's what you want to spend glimmer on not weapons or anything like that but you can be a little bit more uh, been happy with glimmer because in the old destiny and destiny uh one the game the glimmer cap was twenty five thousand, i believe and destiny 2 i have eighty thousand glimmer maybe about ninety thousand at this point and it doesn't look like the cap is anywhere near filled or it doesn't look like i'm anywhere near the cap so that's my number one tip be careful what you spend glimmer on and don't spend glimmer on anything that can't make you glimmer back or can't get you glimmer and other resources because for the most part the way to get the best items in Destiny 2 are EDZ tokens. Actually we'll get into that in the next tip. So my second tip is always be on the lookout for crates. Destiny 2 has an abundance of crates just lying around in the world. It seems like there are more crates in Destiny 1. The crates usually always spawn at about the same spot and the crates have, if you're, if you've reached level 20, the crates will have a chance to have a legendary drop. I've had two legendary ingrams from a crate and you are, I'm pretty sure you're guaranteed to get a, uh, to get glimmer and get a token for whatever area you are for, uh, whatever crate you open or chest. So let's say you're in the uh, European dead zone. If you open a crate, you have a chance to get a legendary drop if you're over level 20, and you'll then uh, you'll be guaranteed to get a EDZ token and some glimmer. Loot, loot, loot is the name of the game for how to get stronger in Destiny after you hit level 20. The better loot you get, the stronger your light level, or the higher light level will be, the stronger you'll be. That means the higher level. The higher light level you are, the higher your attack damage and your defense is. With that being said, the best way to get loot 
is to rack up a bunch of EDZ tokens or uh, Nessus tokens or IO tokens, whatever those tokens are called. I don't believe those tokens are named after the era that they're in, but whatever those tokens are called, be sure to always be on the lookout for resources because there are more resources that you can turn in for uh, reputation points, which is the points to get uh, exotic ingrams for certain from certain NPCs in the game. So there are more resources than resources than just tokens to get reputations from different NPCs. And as you level up your reputation, you get legendary ingrams, which means that you get better gear. So always be on the lookout for resources, whether there are chests or there are shards in the games or there are data points in the games that you can get that you can take to fail safe and uh, IO or low I believe real safe is in I believe it's called IO but yeah always be on the lookout for resources that's my number two tip so here's my third tip and this is kind of a two-parter so the third tip part one is pay close attention to the perks in your guns and and in your armor also because you can find uh, armor and guns with the same name but they have totally different perks so for instance, well, first of all, let me say this. The reason I say be careful or pay attention is because you can shape your playstyle and, well, you can shape your playstyle to the perks that your guns and your armor pieces have. So, my hunter right now in Destiny, it has high movement speed and it has high resilience. So that means I can move around faster than a lot of people and I can take a lot of damage. And I also have guns that have high stability and low fire rate because those are the type of guns that I like. I like high stability auto rifles, low fire rates. So the playstyle that I have pretty much, this is pretty much for Crucible that I'm talking about right now, is uh, the playstyle that I have for Crucible is I have a playstyle where I like to win gunfights. I'm pretty gunfight reliant. I don't really use supers that much and things like that I pretty much like to be a winner in 1v1 gunfights for that reason I want to have my aim as high as possible and I want to be able to move as fast as possible when aiming down sight so let's flip over in the actual PvE world though you can have the uh, the same armor pieces but they have different resistances to different um, let's call them like forces of nature like the arc the void and the uh, and the fire they have different resistances so you may have a uh, armor set that recharges or that makes certain abilities recharge faster if you're like an art if you have an arc super on so if you like using your arc super you're going to want to keep that armor set and you're gonna want to infuse that armor set to make it stronger if you have a bunch of things that make your arc uh, your arc super better I personally also suggest that you have um, that you have different armor sets for all of your different super classes because you're gonna want something that uh, for your void class because you're of course wanna, gonna want to use your void class you're gonna want to use your art class and you're gonna want to use your fire class so I suggest you have armor sets that strengthen all of those classes. Now, here's my second point. Do not be afraid to break down any legendary items because you're going to if you play enough, you're going to get legendary drops. You're going to get a lot of legendary drops and you're probably going to get legendary drops that you're not going to want to use. Don't use a legendary drop just because it's a legendary drop. Some legendary weapons and some legendary armors aren't that great because they may not have great perks for something that you for a class that you are going to use at the moment or they just don't have a great uh the weapons may not have great abilities or they might not have great perk slots for the type of guns that you like to use. So don't be afraid to break down um legendary weapons and armors because you get resources back from those in the form of legendary shards and I'm pretty sure that we're gonna be able to use legendary shards when Zerg comes and we're gonna be able to get exotics and things like that from Zerg 
Zer is someone who comes uh, during the weekend and he sells things like legendary weapons and legendary uh, armors and exotics and he, I think I don't know how what, how they're gonna do it in the beginning of Destiny 2 but in Destiny 1 he sold a bunch of exotics actually I don't think he sold any legendary weapons but Zer sold a bunch of things that were useful for you to have it was usually like one piece of armor set for each uh, each class and one exotic weapon or maybe two exotic weapons and an exotic ingram so do not be afraid to break down legendary sets legendary armors legendary weapons in order to get legendary shards so you can buy things from Zer. that also buying things from Zer also goes into my first fourth tip that we'll talk about Here's my fourth tip, and if you've been finding this information useful, don't be afraid to hit that sub button because, hey, I'm going to have more information out on Destiny for everyone in the future. So here's my fourth tip. Do not discard something if you don't know what it's for. The reason I say that is because in Destiny 1, there were things called strange coins that nobody really understood when the game first came out. And there were like motes of light and things like that that nobody really understood when the game first came out. Now, some people that I knew personally end up discarding a lot of stuff because they thought it was a waste of space. And then Zerg came around and he had his own currency that we don't that we didn't know he'd have. We didn't even know Zer was really gonna be a thing. So Zerg came around and he required strange coins. And the first week he came around, he had this gun called Gallonhorn that was possibly the most useful gun in the history of Destiny. Everybody used it. it the gun was so strong that if you didn't have the Gallonhorn, some people wouldn't let you raid with them. And that gun came out for, in the first week, and I believe it cost 13 strange coins. But some people broke down their strange coins and they discarded them because they didn't know what it was for. They thought they would be useless. So they discarded the strange coins and they couldn't buy Gallarhorn. So, and Gallarhorn was one of the rarest drops in the game. Some people still to this day who play Destiny 1 from the beginning of the game have yet to receive a Gallarhorn. So that's why I tell you do not discard something if you don't know what it's for. Hang on to everything that you have until you have a complete understanding, which no one in the game has yet, of what everything does. Also, it's a reason why I said do not spend Glimmer right now because we don't know what's going to happen in the future of this game. Maybe Zer will come and Zer will have things that cost like 50,000 Glimmer. But because you were spending Glimmer on a bunch of things that you didn't need to spend Glimmer on, you don't have enough Glimmer to afford what Zer has to offer. So, that's my fourth tip. And in my opinion, that fourth tip may be the most important thing be sure you have a clear understanding of things in the game period before you just blow them off last but not least the fifth and final tip play the game however you want to play the game because for the most part so I can tell you to do all of this stuff right but if you listen to me and you aren't having fun then what's the point I'm just giving this information for the people who want to have the best gear and the best loot and be the strongest I'm giving it to people I'm giving these tips to people who I think may have a similar mindset to me but not everyone is going to want to play the game like I play it like I didn't talk about anything crucible some people probably won't care about PB at all some people are probably gonna want to get destiny and go straight to the crucible and that's perfectly fine some people are just gonna want to get destiny and play with their friends they may not care about having strong guns or strong anything at all they may just want to play with a couple of friends that they have that's also perfectly fine for the most part destiny is a game that was created so that there are a plethora of ways to play and enjoy this game and it would be a shame if you looked at this video and you listened to everything that I had to say 
and you didn't enjoy the game because you don't have a similar mindset to me and you just don't have fun playing the game as a complete grinder I'm a complete grinder the first day I had a chance to play destiny I played it I started playing at 12 a.m. about and I didn't stop playing actually I started playing yeah about 12 a.m. and I didn't start playing I didn't stop playing until 2 p.m. the next day so well I guess 2 p.m. the same day if it's 12 a.m. so me I love destiny and I love to grind the game out but you can find joy in playing the game in many different ways so I guess my fifth and final tip to you everyone is to find out the way that you most enjoy playing destiny and to play it that way I hope that you've enjoyed watching this video it's gonna be a pretty long video I hope that the things that I've had to say help you guys out tremendously I hope that you've had fun playing destiny and enjoying this great world because for the most part I believe that destiny 2 is a lot more fun and a lot better to get into than destiny 1 but I'm still here to help everyone who needs help this is king of seven signing off please like the video if you enjoyed what i had to say and don't forget to sub peace